Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. Celiac disease affects 1% of the average Americans. That means that at least 3 million people in the U.S. are living with celiac disease. 97% of them are undiagnosed. Women are several times more likely to be diagnosed with celiac disease compared to men. If you have a relative with celiac, then the chances you have it are even higher. Today on Infertility TV, we ask the question, is there a link between celiac disease and infertility or miscarriage? Several studies have shown a higher incidence of celiac disease in women with infertility compared to those without. Others have shown a higher than expected incidence of celiac in women with recurrent miscarriage. If you have celiac disease, will going on a gluten-free diet improve your fertility? Recently, the Celiac Disease Foundation launched the I Cure Celiac National Patient Registry. 12% of the women in the registry reported infertility before their diagnosis, but only 3% still had fertility problems after diagnosis. 19% reported having miscarriages before diagnosis, but only 2% had miscarriages after diagnosis. It doesn't end there. Other studies have found that women with celiac were more likely to have underweight babies and preterm labor and both problems could be improved by going on a gluten-free diet. So should you go on a gluten-free diet if you have infertility? No. Should you get tested to see if you have celiac disease? Probably a good idea. If you already have been diagnosed with celiac disease, please add your data to the iCure Celiac Registry to help researchers better understand and ultimately cure celiac disease. Visit celiac.org slash iCureCeliac or click the link in the description below. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. If you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV, let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.